the governor of Utah and the Utah legislature are getting a national award, but it's an award that nobody seems to want. It's called the Black Hole, and 11 News reporter Jessica Rasmussen was at the Capitol when no one showed up to receive it. So Jessica, first of all, what is this award and why was no one there? Well, the award is in response to the controversial signing of the bill that amends open record laws. Since the governor signed the bill, lawmakers have done everything from backtracking their vote to standing by their decision. But one thing lawmakers can escape is the national attention that has come from this bill. The Capitol's empty. There are no lawmakers and the governor's nowhere in sight. But there is a black wreath. And that wreath and its owner traveled more than 400 miles to get here. I flew to Salt Lake today because because I feel it's really important that people know what's going on in Utah. Chairman of the Society of Professional Journalists Freedom of Information Committee, David Coulier, brought the wreath because it represents the Black Hole Award. We wanted to highlight uh, the worst, most heinous acts of secrecy in the nation. And while there were multiple nominees for the award, Coulier says that the Utah legislature won the first national black hole hands down for passing a bill on open records that tried to fix something that wasn't broken. So this le legislation is unnecessary. It doesn't provide any greater privacy protections to citizens than what was already on the books. And president of the Utah chapter of SPJ, Tom Haraldson, says the society wants to protect citizens. First and foremost, we're citizens. We, we are residents here, we live here, we have the right to know what our elected officials are doing. While a black hole could never be removed, Haroldson says that he and other citizens groups will do whatever they can to remove the law from the books by July 1st. We just want it to be fair and we want it to revert back to the principles that have worked for 20 years in this state. While the governor didn't make an appearance at the event, his spokeswoman released a statement that says they don't deserve this honor. And Brittany, the sponsor of the bill, also says that he's disappointed in the award. You know, it'll be interesting to see if all this attention actually makes a difference come summertime. Thanks so much, Jessica.